Hi, my name is Mekdes, and today we're doing this glam eye look. So, gonna judge my hair a little bit. Definitely want to make sure the fro is even. That's my number one challenge in life. I went in with a wide tooth comb earlier and just picked it out as best as I could. But you can never zhuzh too much. First step, conceal. So I really love this concealer. It's by Rimmel. It's a little bit lighter than my skin tone, so I start here just to take care of those dark circles. I try to focus right under my eye where it's the most dark. I do go over it again with Glossier Skin Tint in Deep just to match my skin tone as best as I can. And the reason why I love it so much is it's really light coverage, so even with the concealer um, and the skin tint over it, I still feel it's pretty natural. Um, you don't get that caked on look, and I tend to like the dewy look. Um, so yeah, I just I go all over, and then when I'm done, I go back and touch up areas that I feel I may need a little bit more concealing, um, and you can see it's still pretty light. If I found that I used a little bit too much skin tint, I'll just cover and powder the parts that are a little bit shiny with Glossier's Wowder in Dark Deep. For brows, I use Glossier's Boy Brow in Black, and I really like it because it's simple, it's easy to use, so you can see it's pretty light, pretty natural, which is what I love. After this, I'll go over the skin tint in my Tarte blush in the shade of Party. And then if there are any parts that I feel need a little bit of extra help, I'll just use my Wouter brush to just hit some of the areas around and make sure it's not too glossy. And so for a highlight, I really love the Haloscope in Topaz. I just really focus on the highlights of my cheekbones and I don't want to take away too much from the blush, so I really just focus on the top and I blend with my hands. So on top of the bomb.com, I'm using a Sephora gel lip liner in the shade of hot sauce. Just gives it a little bit more depth and clearly you can see I missed the line of my lip there. So um, <laughs> just, just use your hands and go back in and fix it. I like it because it doesn't take away too much from the eyeliner look. So I use a mixture of two products for my liner. It's Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Pot in Blackest Black. And for the brush, I use Revlon Colorstay Liquid Liner. I make little tiny strokes because I'm pretty prone to messing this up. And with the smaller strokes, you can always go back and correct. And once I feel I have a nice outline, then I'll go back in and really darken that up. And I think that's pretty good. If I've extended the wing a little bit too far out, I'll take a Q-tip and clean it. You can use any Q-tip, but this one has a pointed end, which helps with the more precise lines. I could stop here and go for a cat eye and call it good, but I'll take my brush and I'll actually follow the natural bone structure of the crease, and I'll follow that inward to really emphasize my brow bone and my crease. I just kind of wanted a peak of something cool. And so once I get it about as even as I think I can, I'll go in with mascara. I use CoverGirl in Lash Blast. Um, it's the green one in the color of Very Black. I, I like it a lot because I feel it just extends my lashes and really completes this look. My day-to-day -day look is pretty simple, so I was really inspired by the graphic liner and the impact it had just visually. Yeah, just, I, wanted to, I wanted something different, something strong.